There's been quite a whirlwind around events and activities for Living Miracles and especially in Mexico and Utah and so we just uh, felt to get together today and just share some of those inspiring ideas. Um, you can check the events page for livingmiracles.org to really get the lowdown on everything that's happening. There's so much and we're not going to so much go into that today but really focus on what we're doing here at the Metaphysical Center in Canvas, Utah which we just flew in you know, just a day or two ago for this mission. We're like on a two-month mission here to do a lot of live stream videos and uh, retreats and so uh, we just thought we would just be very clear today about what's happening for a online retreat, a live stream that's happening in January, uh, I believe it's January 12th, right? <laughs> Let's get the dates right. And uh, yeah, just uh, the theme is Awakening from the Dream. And so I just thought we've, we're together here and it would be so fun to just kind of go deeply into what you can expect from that retreat. And uh, the online retreats are very deep, you know, sometimes you think because it's online and it's not in physical proximity, but what we have found and what we've experienced is that they actually do quite, go quite deep and people from all around the world can join in and it makes it possible and it's easier financially too. So maybe we could just talk about some of the themes of, of the retreat, which is awakening from the dream, which is what we're all about. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could just share with us some of the, we're also talking about some of the obstacles that people come across on their spiritual journey. And especially because there's so much information out there now, you can just click the buttons on YouTube and go from teacher to teacher. And we're just finding that in an authentic spiritual path, there has to be a, a certain amount of focus in order to receive the experience of what the Course is pointing us to. And that's what we're all about, is we're all yeah. about the experience. Yeah. 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 I would say that the first thing that's coming to mind is, I just was down in Brazil, and so we had a number of people on the screen there for uh, live streaming during a retreat. and. Um, I noticed that during the weekend, and then especially at the end, there was there was a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. I, I could see the emotions on the faces, because all I had to do was glance to my left and look at the screen and mm -hmm. see all the faces. Uh, tears, a lot of emotions coming up. So the first thing that came to mind was that uh, we have a mutual friend in France, and he was saying that he has not been able to uh, let his uh, emotions up. He doesn't have people around him to talk to. And this is a very deep journey and the Spirit can bring people together and does bring people together for witnessing, for presence, for that stillness, for a space, a spaciousness to let up what's concerning you, the, the struggles, the issues, in more of a, a spiritual or a metaphysical context, mm -hmm. not necessarily complaining, not blaming, but just these very, very intense emotions that have to come to the surface. And he's been, worked with this in the past, and he was just saying, I really yeah. want to come and join in more because I need that. I right. need to be able to talk about that. So, there was one woman uh, at the very end of the Brazil uh, retreat who just uh, cried and cried, but she felt so connected, she felt so loved, she felt it touched such a deep space in her heart. She had so much love coming up that she just had tears streaming down her face. And then uh, turns out uh, our translator, Juliana, was, was best friends with her and, and lives right near her. And she said, oh, that's my best friend. And she wanted to read to me this long testimonial that she gave. And she's, the woman was basically just Buddhist. It wasn't a Course in Miracles student at all, had just joined in on the live stream and was saying, David is a Bodhisattva. <laughs> and I felt the presence of the Bodhisattva and then it allowed me to get in touch with my emotions and let all this up and she felt so healed and so much love. And that's one thing that can happen with these uh, live streaming weekends. It's not just like a, a couple hour event, it's not some kind of talk or lecture. We have so many people that have so many skills and abilities that have gone through so many things that when you're together online with people from all over the world and with great translation available then it's very intimate yeah. and it's not, not anything like uh, something people think of a digital thing as kind of uh, sterile and yeah. you know just internet but it's, it's not that at all. Yeah, I like what you said.
that it's it's not just like uh, like a seminar. This really is an online retreat, and a retreat takes you deep into your mind. That's what we've we've done so many retreats over the years, residential retreats. But these there's something very uh, unique what happens with the online retreats. And so that's what we feel is kind of the wave of the future because, you know, the travel and the security and all this kind of stuff that goes on, this is just a very simple, and we ask that you, like, really prepare your space, that you really enter this like as if you're going to a residential retreat, you let your loved ones know that you're going to be in retreat, so that you can really uh, receive the, the true gift of it. And like you said, there's going to be, you know, several different uh, sessions with, like, experiential type sessions. We feel like it's all experiential. Mm -hmm. Like it's not somebody just standing up there and expounding on the teachings, but we really want to go deep into what's keeping the mind from accepting the atonement, what's truly keeping the mind, what's in the blocks to the love's awareness, and, and to just kind of really uh, go into that and, and see where there might be some traps that we've fallen into, because a lot of people have been on this path for quite some time. And we always say, if you're not deepening, then you're not really doing the practice of A Course of Miracles. It's really about that application, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't really feel that quickening in your heart, that opening, that expansiveness, that depth, and that profound experience and direct experience, then oftentimes you could say we've just kind of caught in an ego holding pattern, or feel a bit of stagnation, a bit of, uh, like you're treading water, mm -hmm. but you're not really swimming, you're not really moving, um, you're just kind of keeping afloat. Mm -hmm. And that's very typical to the world, you know, like a survival thing, just trying to survive, keep alive, stay mm -hmm. alive. Whereas uh, this is very vibrant and very direct and you can bring up your issues, you can bring up your questions and we can take some time to work at mm -hmm. those issues and really expose and go a little bit deeper in that. So I think it's, uh, from those of you who've been on Living Miracles Virtual, you know that experience. Uh, we've had some that are right here with us right now, <laughs> on the virtual experience. And, and always the Spirit will use what's available, like we have thoroughly enjoyed our uh, time there in Mexico, okay. but it's not quite geared to this kind of um, online webinar. We're working, always staying open, and the Spirit's always uh, maximizing everything that, that seems to be in form, because that's how the Spirit uses symbols, always maximizing everything. And that was the feeling when we came here, was there was a tremendous opportunity to connect with people all over the world in a very deep way. I know for myself, I've almost got a little bit of a backlog of, of requests. Uh, Jennifer Hadley wanted me on her show. Uh, Ren Zupko wanting to do a podcast, uh, a friend Anna from uh, Greece wanting to do kind of a, a Skype call with her Course of Miracles group uh, that and they're working on a lot of things. It's Carol Howe. Uh, Carol Howe, is, yeah, coming up. It's just kind of been queued up and so me coming back up here gives me a chance to honor those invitations and also to do these three very deep profound uh, weekends. Okay, well now that he's brought it up, there's three profound <laughs> <laughs> weekends we uh, consecutively we uh, in January. So it's really start, and, and it's going to be in different languages, Spanish and, por and Portuguese. So the first one, the one that we're focused on right now is for the English, just straight English, uh, no translations into different languages. And we're really looking at it as starting the new year with clarity, in your spiritual path and, and commitment, because it really does take a commitment to this path to actually receive the gifts of the experience. It's great to know all the things, and we've all studied for a lot of years. It's like, really, we want to go deeper into the experience, so that's really what all this is about. And we just really invite you wholeheartedly. Um, there's something really amazing that happens when it's like this international group of people that get on, on online, and you're there, and, and hopefully you've set the space for yourself, and you can just really use this as a gift to yourself to receive the gifts of the Spirit. There's nothing more important, there's nothing more... Uh, worthy of your mind's attention. So we just really invite you fully into uh, this experience with us. Yes. And it's great to have the goal of waking up from the dream instead of just trying to get by in the dreams <laughs> yes, to have a better dream or, you know, of course people 
have those desires, but, but when you bring the context of waking up from the dream and really forgiving the world and having that happy dream of non-judgment, that is no small thing at all. And then when you come together with those that are really joined in that goal, then you can feel the vibrancy and the, the high energy that comes with uh, going for that high goal. Yeah, and knowing that you don't do this on your own. Of course, Jesus tells us that mighty companions will come. And so here, here we are, we're right by your side and we're just like really inviting everybody in. So, thank you so much. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you.